there is some very exciting news. First of all, it, subscriptions for FSD in Australia is a thing now. So $149 per month. Yes, thank you very much. But with Hardware 4, I'm so jealous because, well, Hardware 3 people, whilst we can also access to now, it's still the old version, like EAP, that's Navigate on Autopilot. Uh, so I've tested it and we can do the auto park sort of feature and, uh, you know, dumb summon basically and the old EAP which is uh, like great for freeway highway driving, does auto lane change okay-ish, but it's not not the full self-driving that supervised version, you know, hardware 4. So here's what it looks like. We have got Navigate on Autopilot Beta. Even though in the app it says full self-driving supervised. Mm. Got the usual suite of features, unchanged, start of every trip. You want to go crazy with your lane changes, go for it. Exit passing lane, please. Require lane confirmation, no. Bit annoying, does dumb decisions, might turn that off again. Uh, <laughs> and finally, lane change notification. I think I had that turned off last time I had it, but I haven't done EAP for a while, so we'll see. Um, we can do traffic light start and stop control, awesome. And when it comes to summon, it is dumb summon, it's nothing special. And uh, I think, oh, there's some new settings in there, interesting. Require continuous press. Mm. I'd rather keep that on, I've almost crashed my Tesla with it actually doing dumb things before. And uh, what else? Oh, we've got their new low power standby mode. But that's another feature, that's a whole other thing. Um, this is exciting, but also not exciting. Bit annoying, actually. <laughs> anyway, $149, I'll use it for a month and I'll turn it off until I see full self-driving supervise. Thanks, Tesla.